It's crazy because normally I get to talk to people about like Picard season two, but uh, I don't know who has survived. I'm going to say most of you, but you're filming Picard season three right now. So it's one of these things where um, I get to sort of say, what can you tease about Picard season two and season three? Mm -hmm. Season two has Q. Yeah. And season three will have and see the return of Jean-Luc Picard. (laughs) That is all I can say. Yeah. That is a great, I, that's a great answer. Were you guys told like nothing on three? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and almost near close to nothing for season two as well. <laughs> yeah. It's one of these things that when, when I'm talking to actors on a show like this, uh, that, you know, where the secrets are very secure, it's hard because you want to talk, but anyway. Yeah. So I, I'll ask this for all three of you. I love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of a show things that fans wouldn't know, things that, you know, you guys are, uh, you know, privy to. So what do you think people would be surprised to learn about the actual making of Picard? Well, well, I mean, I think one of the things we were talking about is that how, um, I think with these kinds of shows, people always think that you're not really on, that everything, there's a lot of green screen, you're not on the set, so you're not really in the real places. A lot of it, for us, it all feels very, very real. And the great thing about season two is that we're in Los Angeles in the present, so we got to be, you know, we were in the, on the set in the real set. So it got, it feels very grounded in that respect. You're always in, in the in the reality and of of where you are. We have these incredible um, ships built and sets built, so everything feels very, very real. Even move, you know, even like battle sequences feel more real than what you would think. So there, there's a lot of. Uh, there's, there's a lot of pretending, but it's all it's all grounded in a lot of a lot of reality surrounding it, which is great. Just getting to see all of the uh, legacy actors together is um, one of the most special things about doing this show and doing Star Trek in general, and seeing how close they all actually are. And it, you you never quite know, like with all of my favorite shows that I watch, I'm always like, oh, I hope that the cast is like actually friends because that would make me really happy. And that is how it is, thankfully for our cast, but also for the cast of The Next Generation. When they all get together, they are just like, it's like, it's the old times again. Like they, they, they're back to being just like their silly, goofy selves. <laughs> I'd say just the time it takes to even film one or two episodes, people don't realize uh, how much like even a minute of film like takes. I mean, you put on an episode, it goes for 55 minutes and you're like, well, that was quick, but it, it really is time consuming. It takes dedication. Sometimes scenes take days to film and it really is like a credit to, you know, the cast and the crew and everyone behind it. it and it really does help when you all get along with each other and you've all got this kind of, one track mind and like vision and, and goal that you want to kind of achieve. And it, I feel like it reflects that we all care. Oh, for sure. My, my last thing for you guys, cause I'm going to be out of time. I love Patrick Stewart. Like I just love him. I've heard he's just awesome to be around. I, how much do you have to pull back wanting to just like geek out with him about some of his previous roles and just his career because it's so awesome. You don't have to pull back. You just ask him. He'll tell you. He'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> It's, which is great. You get to hear such great stories and anecdotes about, you know, who he's worked with and what he's done and his time and all the theater he's done. And it's, and it's great because it really feels like, like that, that, uh, that we're part of a group and an ensemble and we're all sharing stories, but his, of course, have, have so much more, uh, you know, they're, they're just so much more epic. Yeah. I don't know if we're allowed to tell you a lot of the stuff, but I mean, it, it's just, if you ask him about an episode that he filmed or, uh so, someone who, who had a cameo i mean like it's just great hearing all of these old stories that that he has and it kind of like makes you feel like you're a part of something like bigger yeah he's, he's so forthcoming with just telling you about his life and telling you about his personal life even like he's he's very open about that stuff so it kind of makes everyone immediately feel like oh we're we're old pals like we 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 we're on that level like he makes everyone feel really at home i gotta wrap there i'm just gonna say i really can't wait to see the rest of the episodes and good luck uh, uh filming the finale um if perhaps you're filming it right now <laughs> hypothetically. Thank, thank, you. thank you thank you, thank you.